everybody, it's Pastor Jim from Zion Lutheran Ann Arbor, Michigan. And, uh, you know, today is one of my least favorite days. It is the day after a presidential election. And no matter who wins, on this day every four years, there are some who are elated and throwing parties and laughing. And there are others who are despondent, disillusioned, and afraid been reading and hearing about Abraham Lincoln and uh, in his second inaugural address where the Civil War is just about ready to wrap up and a war that was dividing the country, a dividing families, a seven minute address and in it he said, we should have malice toward none and charity for all. This election season has been exhausting and we don't have a civil war, but we are truly divided as a country and as people. But no matter who you voted for, it's time to come together. Whether you're a candidate won or lost, it's time to come together to find common ground, to love our neighbors, and to work toward making our country and our world a better place. This coming weekend, the psalm for the day is Psalm 146. And the first few verses talk about praising Oh my, praise the Lord, oh my soul. I'll praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I am living. But listen to verse 3 and following. Put not your trust in rulers, in mortals in whom there is no help. When they breathe their last, they return to the earth, and in that day their thoughts perish. Happy are they who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God who made heaven and earth, the seas and all that is in them, who keeps promises forever, who gives justice to those who are oppressed and food to those who hunger. The Lord sets the captive free. The Lord opens up the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord cares for the stranger. The Lord sustains the orphan and widow, but frustrates the way of the wicked. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. In whom are you putting your trust and your hope? Today I remind you that we are called to boldly follow and practice the way of Jesus. There's where our hope and trust is. No matter who leads, no matter who is elected, our trust is is in our God. Because the work of practicing the way of Jesus, it hasn't changed. We're still called to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with our God. And it's as important today as it will ever be. God is calling us. To whom will you put your trust and hope? I put my trust in our God who keeps the promises and will never fail us. Blessings, everybody. May God give you peace and comfort wherever you may be on this day. Amen.